bombarded by Russian shells. This steel and ironworks factory in Mariupol has been reduced to burnt out buildings. The Russian siege has taken its toll on this industrial area. The outskirts of the Azovstal factory are a ghost town of deserted buildings and abandoned bodies in the road. Embedded with Russian troops, we continue our journey on foot at the edge of the factory. Come. What? Come, over there, past the houses. That's Azovtol, where the fighting is. The factory is surrounded by Russian forces. But within the vast complex, there are thought to be two to 3,000 Ukrainian troops, who, despite being cut off from food and ammunition, are holding their ground and keeping Moscow from claiming they've fully taken the port city. Our guide is a pro-Russian separatist, but here it's mostly Chechen soldiers who are fighting. One of their leaders accepted to speak with us. We don't feel fear. That's why we're mobile and can go anywhere at any time. Of course, this is with the help of God. We count only on him. Our embed with pro-Russian troops continues to the north of the factory. Russian and separatist forces have stockpiled ammunition and deployed troops around the complex. This separatist soldier has just returned from the front line. He doesn't doubt victory, but he says the fighting is intense. It's an immense area with groups of buildings. The Ukrainian soldiers, they move from one complex to another. We isolate one building at a time. And little by little, we're taking the factory. Beneath the warehouses, there are labyrinths of industrial tunnels where Ukrainian soldiers have been hiding out. Not only has this kept Moscow from being able to fully claim Mariupol, but it's also impeded a redeployment of troops from the port to other areas of the Donbass, where the Russian offensive rages on.